What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Here's my Apple Watch Series 5, and I just picked up some covers for it. So I ordered both of these because they are in two different color schemes, and I thought it might be able to allow me to kind of change the look of my Apple Watch. So uh, both fashion cases, 44 millimeters. So these are only the Series 4 and 5, which I think then were 40 and 44 millimeters as opposed to I think the Series 3 and earlier were 42 millimeters. Anyway, uh, as you can see, they come in like small packages like this. I actually thought they were like nail clippers or something when I first opened them up. Looks like they even make a version with rhinestones. Um, but I want to show you here what they look like. It looks like these are going to open up really, really easily. Little microfiber cloth in there. And then here is the cover itself. And I just want to show you, let's get, I'm going to get way in on that because uh, I'm actually pretty impressed. This feels like an aluminum to me which is kind of surprising. I don't know, no? Maybe maybe not? I, you know, it feels a little metal. I kind of assumed it would be a plastic. Maybe it is a rigid plastic. We do have glass here, and um, it's very flat, so there's no rolled edge to it, which is a little different than the way the Apple Watch feels. The glass kind of rolls into the edge there, but it's got to sit above the glass, and we do have like a, a black uh, edging around it, so you should get a nice blended in look here does have that matte finish, so I would call this black as opposed to my space gray, which, I don't know, I guess maybe it's black. I mean, that's pretty darn close. There are some cutouts. This thing only goes onto the front. It clips onto the front. You can see where the crown would fit in there. And you're going to pull this off. It's going to be the first thing you're going to do. Nice plastic in there. Now, I know what you're going to say. I wear my Apple Watch upside down because I don't like where the crown is positioned. So that's going to be a little funky for you guys, but I'm just going to go ahead and press it on. Oh, that's pretty easy. And you can see here, uh, the crown is pretty flush, but it sticks out just a little bit. I can push it in if I needed to, if I need to get to my apps. Uh, I can still get to my Siri button right there. On the side, we have a little uh, cut into the material so that the speakers and the microphone are covered up. You can see how closely it hugs the lugs and it just sits right on top. So let me, I'm just going to throw this on my wrist. Crown going the wrong way. I understand, but this is the way I wear it. And it just looks like a black Apple watch. Now does the touchscreen work? Yeah, it does. No problems there. All right. That's pretty cool. And here is where we're going to get to the real business. Um, so putting a black cover, which is nice because especially if you're knocking around your watch a lot, you know, you don't have to sweat it getting dinged up, scratched up, especially when you have the aluminum like I do, a softer metal. Now here is a silver one. And this is why I got this one because I wouldn't be surprised the black cover looks good on a black watch, but they do have the, uh, the silver watch. And if you like that kind of the brighter, you know, what about changing the look? Now I will say I've got the silver here, but I think they also had it in like a gold like the rose gold too, maybe. So I, I just wanted to get the kind of the typical colors. Same nice construction, and I'm assuming just all pops on just like that. Um, there's a little schmutz on there. See, nice tight fit, hugs those lugs, get to my crown. Now I will say uh, it's probably gonna be a little harder to roll the crown from the top. Now I wear it like this, so you would probably use your finger down here to get to it because of how flush it is. But I'm just gonna throw this on. And I want you to see that I'm actually pretty impressed when I put this on now, you know, even from an angle, you don't see a lot of that original color of the case. So if you want the look of the silver or the gold or the rose gold, this is a nice way of doing it. And again, it's not a front and back case. It doesn't go all the way around. It's not covering up the sensor. So you have no other material here, any sharp edges that might catch on your skin. I really like this. I'm impressed with that, man. It definitely changes the look of the watch. Um, and again, no problems with the touchscreen. I didn't put in my real code in case you steal my watch. You didn't think I'd think of that, did ya? I may not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but I'm the sharpest tool in the shed, I think. Anyway, listen, uh, these cases are pretty nice. Just if you want to protect your watch, but also if you want to kind of change the look. I'll put a link to them in the description because they are not expensive. I think about uh, 12 or 13 bucks each. Peter Von Panda, out.